and well good good morning for me and good and wherever you are in the world it's morning for me and it's it's new york time for ruth my name is rick ely and this is my beautiful guest ruth wilson ruth is like we just scheduled this meeting it, uh, a week ago we died we dove in very quickly assessed that you know that coming from the heart center that we are both here present now and agreed to you know why don't we just take this conversation live because ruth has got some i think she's got some stuff to share in her own journey and the first thing i didn't realize is i i thought in looking at your profile and and you being a medical student you're a third year medical student you've been you're a youtuber you've been doing video for quite some time but you live in Gu Guyana. Yes, the yeah. land of many waters. <laughs> yeah, we're culturally a part of the Caribbean, but geographically in South America. So it's just a beautiful place. And here I just look to support persons in my community. And I want to say thank you so much for this opportunity to show up in your group. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's just I take it public. I I'm happy to. The Pono Quest is is my passion. You were saying you were telling me your passion. You were sharing with me your your passion. And uh, can, can you can would you mind reiterating some of that? I know it was in that moment and it was spontaneous, but I think it's so helpful. Yeah, my passion really is really helping persons to ignite their impact. I know a lot of persons, they know you're meant for something great. You want to show up and really serve persons through your specialized knowledge, through your insight, through your expertise or whatever it may Like whatever skill you have, a lot of persons tend to hold it back from themselves than to really share to the world. I had that issue before, like a few years back when I was like even thinking about joining the entrepreneur um the business world like entrepreneurship and all that i was like super scared and like i was like thinking like if i put myself out there what will people say and like i was half fear of people's judgment not being enough and not that could resonate with a lot of us like um as we decide to be present online we're putting ourselves to be vulnerable and that's something i had to be um okay with and knowing that i'm enough to show up and serve persons like i have potential to make an impact and i just have to like ignite that find the people around me who will support me i have to have a vision for myself like what do i want for myself and how i choose to serve and i have to decide you know what no matter what comes my way the challenges because i promise you <laughs> there will be challenges right so you decide like no matter what you're going to stick to it you take strategic action so that's all about it like impact hacking i call it impact hacking code and so that's what i'm all about what i'm really passionate about yeah. i'm taking massive action impact being pre being present being present in the moment we, this is why we you know when we came into the room together we like recognize royalty you and because you're that, because you're that. We, and uh, yeah, and you see that in all of those you're working with, I imagine. You, mm -hmm. Yes, we all have something that, we're all here for a purpose. And that's the thing, you have to discover your purpose. And I, when I discovered my purpose, that was like, my, like a paradigm shift for me because I always felt that I had to find one path and stick to it. But I discovered, you know what, I'm more than a one-dimensional person. I have different dimensions of who I am. I can be, my gifts can be expressed in different ways, right? We tend to limit ourselves in what we can actually do. And that's what I really want to help empower persons to know that you are meant for more, right? Um, I know we doubt ourselves sometimes, but that's because like a lot of time because of the influence of our parents society or probably a bad experience that we had before but it's all about like being true to yourself your heart you know sticking to your true self right and just showing up for your legacy 
Yeah, you talk about that coming from your heart, coming from your heart space, and that's what Pono Quest is all about. For us, it's you know being right with oneself, being right with others, and right with the environment. And uh, yeah. we we recognize that everyone has has a process, right? There is there there's a process, and I'm very curious, Ruth. I mean, you, you seem to have so much figured out. What's your process? What is the process for you to, to empower, to, to, to deliver these, your, your gift to, to people? Yeah. It's all about, um, it comes from authenticity. Like I know I consume a lot of content and I have coaches and mentors that teach a lot of stuff, but you have to find what really resonates with your soul in your heart, because like, it's all about intuition. Like I listen, I'm very intuitive. I'm like, I listen, I ask questions. That's the number one thing. Ask questions. Like I'm, a, I'm considering myself a curious person. I'm always curious to learn things and all that. And I think that's the beginning of really discovering our true potential, like um, really empowering ourselves is asking questions. And like the universe has a way of like answering them. Like it's super crazy or weird, but it's so amazing. The universe provides the answer. You just need to ask and just be curious. And the universe provides the answer. It might come and you have to be open. Another thing too, you must be open. Your heart must be open to like whatever form that answer will come. Cause sometimes we block ourselves to like, okay, this thing must be done this way. I expect like our expectation. Okay, our expectations have power, can empower us. And also we have to be careful with our expectation, right? So I'm um, asking questions and like being open to listening to the response, right? And creating like a definite path. Like, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick to it, decide to do it and just take action. And another thing I will point is like, find a community of persons like for this group. And I advise you guys to up, uh, really dive into this group that you're in and really connect with the persons because community is so important for us to really achieve our goals. No man is an island and we all need a support of each other to really inspire us. And like, you know, when things are not working so well, we can reach out to somebody, you know what? This is what I'm struggling, I need some help. So community is so important. I couldn't agree more. You know, it's having that and surrounding yourself with those people that you know are going to support you. I my, my close friends and I talk and we jest, we say, you know, at this level, it's, it, it's, it's nice to have friends you can play with in your sandbox that you know aren't going to hit you upside the head with a dump truck, you know. <laughs> Because you're not that, you know, it's like, okay, I know who I'm going to be showing up and who, you know, mm -hmm. who do I want to, who do I want to be? And so you get those people that are your cheerleaders, you got your back and they're driving you forward. You just, you know, yeah. some, sometimes I'm at the back of the bus and sometimes I'm at the head of the bus. Sometimes I'm in the middle and it, it's, but I've, I know it's not about me. I, mm -hmm. I know. And a lot of people might say, okay, I, I have these ideas, these things I want to do, but I'm not finding the people to support me or rally around me. And I think that comes from really being authentic and being true to yourself. Like when you're clueless of who you are and like your purpose and like what really drives you, you can't really attract the people that you're meant to really be or surrounded by you right so you probably yeah. be surrounded right so like that's like number one be authentic find your truth or find your purpose and then the right people at the right time will show up in your life yeah they do they, de they definitely do you have everything you need right now in the moment you you could you can't get this wrong and uh, ruth i'm i'm honored man what is what's what's coming what is coming for you? What is your vision of who Ruth Wilson is becoming? You got this charge, you got this momentum, you've had, a, a, you, would you like to talk about your history on YouTube and where that's carried you today? And would you, would you like to do that? Sure, yeah, so it started like probably three years or three years plus ago. And I was like, I consider myself a YouTube junkie, like for everything for studying, to looking at vlogs or looking at like, I'm, I was like a personal development and self-help kind of junkie feel. Like I consume those content a lot, like every 
single day, <laughs> right? And so the thought came to me, sometimes like our next thing that really could really change your life usually comes by a thought, a idea. And a lot of persons tend to throw that aside and we put a lot of doubt up and we just discard it. So when that thought came to me um, to really start a YouTube channel, I was like, oh my God, me? Ruth in Guyana. <laughs> nobody vlogs, nobody do really do, do YouTube like that. Like, who do I think I am to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and like, my parents were not okay with, like, the internet world yeah. and those kind of stuff because, like, they have their own philosophies and thoughts. But I made up my mind, like, I'm not going to wait for permission from nobody. I feel this is for me. And I'm going to, I feel in my heart that like, this is meant, I meant to do this for a reason. Like this came to me for a reason, right? So I decided to do it. I got along with a friend from med school. We were just chatting in lunchtime. And she, I mentioned it. She's like, oh, Ruth, I bought my camera too. I want to do it too. So we said, listen, we're going to do this. Like this is the date. We set the date. And we said, we're going to do this. And we shot our first video. So I talk about finding that team member community like somebody to help you along mm. i mentioned that point good so that's what just the beginning of me start my youtube channel and that led to me being around a lot of business people because i usually go to conferences and all this kind of stuff to really document my journey and to share experiences and that led me to really connecting with business people um and they will ask me this on my video and will ask me to market their products and services with video and that led me to freelancing and then i decided to create an agency and that led okay. me to discover, <laughs> discovering discovering the online world and now group coaching so it's all about like we don't really know what are our future goals but it's all about finding our next best step whatever feels authentic like your next best thing to do it really aligns with your soul and just take an action and you never know what is going to happen. <laughs> I find myself taking massive action every day now. It, it's uh, being in the present moment doesn't mean that you are void of structure. <laughs> <laughs> and so I imagine that, you know, being a third year medical student and yet consuming blogging and creating, there's had to, how did you find balance in doing all of those things? I get being authentic. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get yeah. being, coming so, from the art center. That's, that takes incredible discipline. To, so I'm wondering where, where is this coming in? So when I started YouTube, I was actually in my clinical rotations time. So I had a lot of flexibility with my time. Like I already did like the mass like book consumption, like all the textbooks and all of that. So it was just like practical now, like doing what you learn already and like just having practical experience. So the workload was not so much, right? So I had a little wiggle room and like whenever you're really passionate and you love something, you find time for it. No excuse. You find time. I, 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 I didn't have nothing else in my life. I'm like, I'm single. I don't have kids. I don't have anything else. That's just my medicine. And like YouTube, that was just my focus. Like I had nothing else to do. A lot of persons are doing medicine. They have they do their medicine and they have children, family, and they make it happen. So like, why can't I add YouTube to my plate? <laughs> I've been married 21 years and I have three children. And you know, two of them are adult children. So I have my, my uh -huh. oldest is 22 and our youngest or our oldest daughter is 18 and our youngest daughter is 10. So it's, um, yeah. And I, and you love, I love to spend time with my, my family. That's my most important pat. But I also find now in these moments of when there is something so much greater than myself and even my family, I know my family is my core. It's just, mm -hmm. that is, that's like the nucleus for me. It's, that's the home front. It's the King's court. It's the castle. It's, you know, protect the homeland. You know, I mean, it's just your family for me, right? It's, this is what I 
everything I work for and I want to nurture and I want to cultivate that yet. And at the same time, and at the same time, I, there's this something that's within me that has to come out and you know what, it might require writing until one o'clock in the morning or, uh, you know, whatever it takes, but it's, it's got to come out. And that's the, mm -hmm. the music that doesn't die inside of you, Ruth Wilson, the stuff that keeps coming out. I, I want to know more. I want to know what your plans are, where you're going with this and who you want to be, you know, five years out, if you want to share that. Yeah. So thank you for that question, Rick. So my passion really is to really create a movement. I, I mentioned the impact hacking movement helping persons to really take their passions and like really serve persons at the highest capacity. Don't hold back on your true self and like what you can really accomplish. Mm -hmm. So we uh, really help you to really take your vision from where it is right now to our next level, right? Mm -hmm. And helping you surround yourself with other persons who have the same mission to really serve persons too right it's all about as i always bring up community because <laughs> like that's the thing like <laughs> it's it's the it's the common goal so like what i've recognized what my friend steve and i recognized is like just being that which it is you want to experience right and share and sharing that like coming out and, and sharing you and growing mm -hmm. growing that community organically that's yes. because we cry we're not everyone this is what pono quest is all about because not everyone uh, is in total alignment you can have a plethora of tools and stuff to i mean if you looked at my library i got books and and i can pull from all of this stuff and i got all these databases but but the community right the community of your mm -hmm of people of that like mind that are attract that are coming to you organically because of your authentic self, not by hook, not by crook, you know, but because you were, this is where in Pono Quest, we get to point to those that are, that are doing that, that have that process, that have that system, that, that there, where there is that alignment. So I, I just want to thank you for coming and, and doing this inside of Pono Quest. And I, I would love to help you grow your audience and grow mm -hmm. your group and how that, how can people reach you? Where can they go? Yeah, so you can really reach me inside of my community. We have like over a thousand members. It's called Group Coaching for Scaling Coaches. So we pretty much help you to transition from one-on-one -on -one coaching to group coaching. Right, make it really simple. You don't have to worry about tech and all of that. It's just like knowing that you are enough for group coaching. Like you have a potential to make a tremendous impact, and we help you to ignite that inside of the group. Hmm. Well, I'm honored to spend time with you, and I, I do want to learn more. I'd like to get um, actually spend time with you with my partner Steve and figure out how we can can serve you even greater not that you need any help but you know we do like to point to those that like, have that listen, process i will stop you there like i will stop you there like we always need help like we don't know like we all can support each other there's always a next level <laughs> yeah likewise well thank you ruth um well, well i'll go ahead and end the i don't know how else to end the live video and uh <laughs> because i do i want to i want to come back and and reconnect with you. I want to come back and reconnect yes. with Steve and we'll follow up with that meeting and, and figure out how we can do just that, how we can continue to grow our communities collectively and individually yeah. so, that we, so that we can reach the greatest impact so that we can have that movement and we make that yeah. movement together by taking that action, so. Yeah, it's all about cross-pollination. Like, there are some persons that you can serve in my community, and I could come and serve in your community, too. Yeah, yes, cross-pollination. Ab absolutely. Mahalo. This is from the Deepest Heart Center. My, I'm looking forward to growing with you. Aloha. Thank you so much, Rick. Mm. Thank you so much. Bye.